No, you're yeah. having to do more to get the same yeah. contraction. Yeah. That's what that's showing. So wait, does you're it? You're having to work because that's not force. Right. That's activity. You mm. recruit. You're doing more. Yeah. Whatever recruitment it is mm. on this arm to try and get the same, same force. Same, yeah. But this isn't necessary. What I'm about to do now is quite specialised, and it isn't something I would kind of tell other people to do if they haven't had, you know, like me, thirty years' experience of working in a nerve muscle specialist unit. That looks much more equal, doesn't it? Look at yeah. that now. That signal the first one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they they're completely not, lined up. I'm yeah. not feeling that pain in my uh, in the uh, last couple of years. lined up, isn't it? Out, Tony. It's been a while since I've had to, because I've always, because I've been cautious of it, I've always been like looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, you can, you can see where it's not being engaged but already you can see that you can engage it a bit yeah, yeah. It there. well hopefully because it's having released and got the nerve gliding a bit better yeah. it's the signal to the muscle is improved which was, was impressive by <laughs> <laughs> and then you got me going bloody hell you know? yeah. <laughs> even if I say so myself quite incredible so you, you, you think the lines are going to line up a bit and then they go whoop that's right and you're like well no, okay. that's right yeah so, yeah It doesn't hurt as much, it's more uncomfortable now. Right. But so, oh, I see what you mean, so as in it was hurting before, now it's just like discomfort. Now it's just weird, like I was doing, by just doing that now, Yeah. Right? just that simple movement. I can feel something in the same sort of place we thought it was. But yeah, how did you, so how did you, is it um, Steve, your friend, is that his name? Uh, Tony. Why did I think his name was Steve? That was not, that's not um, even close, is it? Right, it's, it's pretty close, thanks mate. Um, <laughs> it, it's close enough. They're two Avengers characters, right? Steve, Steve and Tony. Steve, Steve oh, that's right, and, actually, and yeah, Tony. Steve, yeah. Um, yeah, and so obviously Steve Irwin. Steve um, Irwin, one oh of yeah. The Avengers. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> Steve he's probably Irwin, yeah. the most powerful. He was my favourite, even. Yeah, okay, sure. so right, we're, we're back right. for a follow up session with Daryl, right? Who's a I'm actor. Back for more. Yes, uh, actor who does his own stunts. Who I worked on, I think it was three or four weeks ago. One of the first things we talked about was the difference in the bicep. That was a bit of a, a question mark. So mm, yeah. we released all of the sort of, um, tried to build the function back so that you were sort of operating within sort of symmetry again. Then you, I think you found that your connectivity with the arm was a, a bit better, right? I've taken a lot of what you said on board. It's completely, change my uh, my leg workouts for sure like i say when as you can see by the end of the video my squat like form had completely changed and i've taken that with me and and i've managed to uh squat and deadlift a higher weight than i've ever done which is, which is great and, oh yeah and, and pain free as well right well, so how much were um, you squatting i don't say i train to like to train for strength so i wouldn't really squat that much heavier but i never get higher than like like 80 kilos like 80 90. they weren't good reps i was always uncomfortable like my feet never felt stable um like i say the first leg workout i did which was that first week i think it was like a week after um our session i got up to 110 kilos for five good reps and oh, i felt like great it and felt you, like an actual you squat didn't, you didn't feel unstable basically no no yeah not at all and just them simple checks as well from like aligning my feet um where the position of the bar and like the hand movements oh and, i see what you mean so because of all of the different thing it wasn't just because the body was like no it was, it, it was like it was the a, technical adjustments both. yeah yeah it was right. both but like on by un unlocking some of what was obviously locked from right. the session it seems to have opened up just to be a bit more fluid and just I'm using muscles that maybe I probably wasn't activating yeah, from, they from being locked up. Yeah, they weren't really contributing very yeah. much, yeah. And then the shoulders have been all right? Shoulders have been good as well. Yeah, I've changed my routine a little bit with shoulders. I get I get an aggravation around my, um, as you remember, my shoulder blade. I think I went up to, which I haven't done in a while as well, 38s. Oh, yeah. 38 kilo dumbbells on? On, on shoulder press. 38? 38. 38, yeah. Um, it's going to move out of the way, it's like an ambulance. I mean, I only did like three reps, I'd say, so I'm, I'm not... You did, th that's pretty good, mate. And I've not had a lot of problems with my uh, shoulder blades anymore, which is great. Going back to my bicep, so it does still feel uncomfortable, but it's not painful like it was before, where I'd, I'd be holding my arm during training, going like, what the... Right, what, okay. What the, what the fuck's going on sort of thing, you know? But now, it's if more of like... It's being activated a little bit, but it still feels like something is not like clicking or being activated again. 
previously the bicep was quite painful and you would actually feel it inhibiting your sessions and now yeah. you're saying it's basically not really you can yeah. feel there's still some kind of obstruction i guess right yeah yeah right. so it's not it's not inhibit like, like you say inhibiting the workout as such right it's more just uncomfortable it's not painful but it is still there and i don't like i'm not holding it like i was before feeling the need to constantly massage it i'm slowly improving like obviously the legs are great now the, the shoulders are really good now i'm feeling strong and and thin in those but now it's just the arm and just trying to find out what's the reason for that and hopefully today we'll uh, shine a little bit more light on that which would be great the plan is to go and see tony betts not who's steve a, uh... <laughs> no not steve betts uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and see tony betts the uh, harley street physio who i've worked with uh, very closely on a, on a major project for a few years he's been doing physiotherapy i think for about 30 years um and he's got God knows how many different sort of certification. He goes wow. around the world sort of doing talks on scoliosis and things like this. So, wow, cool. um, so Tony's sort of the not ideal. Not bad. Did he yeah, say? he's pretty good. He's not. You know, bad. he's uh, he'll get the job done. But well, what he's got is he's got this electromyography um, scanner that you basically attach to your muscles, and it. Oh, I think I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. Oh, so that'd be interesting. the plan is to sort of um, attach it to both of your biceps and then start to understand what's the sort of underlying um, electrical signal that's going through the biceps oh, when wow. you do. So he can track that sort of thing. Just yeah, from, like, so exactly, yeah. So he can basically uh, record it, um, record the electrical impulses within the muscles. And then we can start to understand, um, A, what kind of signal is going into your biceps when you're just standing normally. Mm. So um, do you remember I sort of said that my theory was that the nervous system was like feeding one of the muscles quite you know consistently mm. um stopping basically causing it to remain sort of you know of a certain size whereas yeah. the other one was getting not very much sort of feedback yeah. from the nervous system um causing it to sort of um, atrophy a little bit um, and that would make sense yeah. just from what i'm feeling as well even yesterday I was, I was doing a bit of triceps so my arms in general was getting a little bit of a workout the vascular difference in arms was also something I noticed straight away. So my my left arm was just so much more vascular than my right arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy's not even getting over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> then the question is like, so when you're lifting the weights, what level of signal is going through to that muscle? Mm. You know, uh, and that's the thing that Tony will have to shed some light on, which is, you know, is it that a really really strong electrical signal goes through the muscle, and then what's produced is basically not that much? Yeah. Um, or is it the other way around, and actually the muscle is not being fed by very much of a signal, and that's why the muscle gets yeah. more painful? So I don't know actually which way it goes around. So that's what I'm going to learn a little mm. bit today as well. Yeah, it'd be interesting because um, this is something yeah. that I've had for quite a long time. All right, so now we're in Shepherd's Bush, which is always... Got here quite quick, I'd say. We did get here quite quick, yeah, even with my sort of, like, wow. you know, even with me sort of going in different directions. Mm. Oh, someone's getting arrested over there. Someone's getting arrested? Yeah, right here, look. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. Yeah, what this is like do? the most eventful video I've ever done. <laughs> oh, there's the guy who's just been arrested. Oh, was he? Have you taken um, Yeah. I don't think I can do anything. This gotta love Shepherd's Bush. Come on, mate, you gotta go. That's Otherwise, it. we're gonna be fucking in Shepherd's Bush forever. That's it, yeah. Jesus Christ. This That's could be train. my superhero origin story, you it know, where be, like, yeah. they're like, shut off the electrics, and he's like, I have. And I'm yeah, still like, and then they're still, <laughs> yeah, he's still on like maximum level control. Yeah, literally. And, oh, uh, man, it's about time. So, uh, yeah, Tony, if you could just uh, tell the guys a little bit about yourself, just so they know uh, who you are, you know, and a uh, bit about your experience and everything. My name's Tony Betts, I'm a physiotherapist. I work uh, from the NHS down at the Royal National Orthopaedic. I also work in my own clinic at uh, Harley Street. My main experience is spine problems related to either the mechanics of the joints or the nerves and how they affect it. And that's my real passion is signals related to uh, impingements or pathologies that might affect how the nerves work, how they glide and how the muscles respond. I'm also really passionate about spines and deformities and issues related to the structures of the spine and how they correspond to how the body works and moves. I'm fascinated with the kind of interaction with 
the way our muscles, nerves and joints all interact in order to try and actually get the best for us as human beings and to promote our best functional responses. So I use a lot of equipment related to sort of looking at how the muscle bulk is, looking at the muscle signal, and what I'm always trying to do is sort of maximise and really optimise the way our bodies behave. And uh, basically that's the sort of thing that keeps me up at night. This isn't being engaged like this one is. But it feels like something's like just not engaging. Do you get any pins and needles, numbness, tingly, nervy pain down your arm? Sometimes, yeah. Where? A bit like in the fingers. Which Sometimes ones? Like the thumb and I'd say maybe these two. Maybe so like when does that happen? When I'm training, I'd say, but sometimes it can be just... Any type of training? Yeah, any form of push and pull. For any direction. During, during any the direction. action of pushing and pulling. Yes. What do you feel? A tingly or a numbness? Tingling, or? tingling, pulling, feeling my fingers, my wrist, mostly here around this area. Do you but get any discoloration or fibrillations of the muscle? Don't think so. Is there any loss of sensation or anything like that? A, a bit, yeah, like what we were talking about before, sometimes I, I'm constantly doing this. I feel like I'm trying to sort of engage something on that side, not as much as it was before our session, um, but I'm still got it, if that makes sense. Like I'm even now, have to do a neurological examination on you even before I do this. Neuro neurological? Yeah. You have to test that your nerves are all fully functioning. Great. Yeah, I just need to test the nerves and make sure there's nothing in your neck or nothing in your collarbone area that's pinching okay. on the, the nerve that supplies that, which is the medial nerve that, that comes from your neck. Indian curry, yeah? Uh, You're going to be fueled up for the neurological test then. <laughs> no, no, that's alright, I'm not doing anything now, right? Okay, uh, shirt off please. Yep. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll examine it using surface EMGs and uh, some ultrasound to maybe have a look at the muscle thing. So we could easily can have a look at that, but we just want to exclude any real neurological sure, issues. Yeah. So take a seat there first. Right, any of those symptoms or anything that you described at the moment? Not Really, I'd say no. no. <laughs> a little bit of tension here, but mm. not like, because I haven't trained today, so um, it's not as like okay. All right. So first I want you to do some movements with your neck, just press your hand and tell me if this gives you any pain that you just described. Sure. Okay, bend your head forward. And then side to side. And then back. Any problems there? Not in my arm. No. Where? Uh, so not in my eye. It was a bit when I went to that side. It was a bit tight in the yeah. neck. Yeah, like up, that, up the top of the neck. Good enough. Yeah. Prefer now lean backwards towards me. Head up to the ceiling. Hold it there. And rest. Any problems there? Felt a bit tight on my weird on my jaw. Doing that. Okay. Anything in here? Uh, nothing on my shoulders. No. Lean to the left. And then lean to the right. Back. Anything there? When I went outside, it was a bit tight around sort of neck. That way. Back in the centre. Has that gone off now? Yeah. Turn to look over your left shoulder. Any problems there? Uh, no, not really. Now lean to the left as well. And then back. Any issues there? Mm, didn't feel what I felt before, no. Felt quite fine. Turn to the right. Any problems there? No, it feels a bit tight on my neck, that's about it. And then lean towards it as well. And then back the centre. That was all alright? Yeah, felt, I mean it felt tight there, but I don't know if it's because I don't move my head in that direction that much. <laughs> no, I'm just going to press in that area of your neck. If you want me to stop at any point, you're uncomfortable, let me no, out. Go for it. Any problems there? No. Am I supposed to be like looking at the pain? Yeah. Okay. Or anything unusual. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. That's all okay? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to stretch the nerves in your arm. Again, okay, tell me if this reproduces or causes you any discomfort. Just do this arm first. Okay. So I'm stretching what's called the medial nerve. Is there? Uh, I feel 
feels a bit tighter, so better yet, but no, I don't have any like pain or sharp pain, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And there? Yeah, I feel okay. Yeah, I'm just going to retest that. Can you lie on your back? Just your nose. The generally, yeah, you're not. You don't consider yourself. Lift your shoulders up and do it. I can't didn't feel anything that time. Okay. And if you then stretch your neck away, and do it again. Yeah, had that pain again. Mm -hmm. And if you bring your head sort of crunch this side. No, I didn't feel the pain. You don't feel that then, then? No. Okay. All right, is that sort of stop now, that pain? Yeah, yeah, it was only when it was being... Just, just then the end of the stretch, yeah? Yes, correct. No lingering sort of symptoms no. or funny feelings? No, I mean, arm. I feel it in my... Like, I feel it in my fingers now. They feel a little bit more like... Yeah, like, they're a bit, they're a bit tingly now, these fingers on this side. Like this hand. It's fine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that feels fine, yeah, I don't feel anything in that one. It's interesting. It's just got a bit of nerve tension in there. I don't know quite where it's coming from in the neck, we're thoracic area, but more like the same we have to consider. So when the, the head was in different positions, it's just placing the nerve under different levels different of levels compression. Of either stretching it yeah. to see whether it's a stretch component or compressing it to see whether if we limit the space, does that aggravate it primarily of the neck? Right. Uh, 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 so versus that, and as you could see, taking the tension away here, reduce the stretch of the nerve. To make sure that there's no problem of the nerve firing into the muscle, contributing to why the muscle is not developing, if it's not getting a full nerve, normal nerve signal for mm. some reason. Right. Of which I, I can't. I'm not in the position to sort of diagnose it now, though when we look at the test that might shine some light on it. But mm. All right, sure. well there you that, go. That's something for me, that's something for us to, to consider from what you described. Right. What we're looking at here is this nerve that comes out here, goes underneath the collar band, down the arm, to the fingers. It does feel like it's like when I'm doing yeah, that. Everything you described seems yeah. to suggest that that was something irritating. What can that be caused by? Is that caused by anything? Or? <laughs> I don't want to, because yeah, I'm no, not no, diagnosing no, you, but I'm answering that question. It can be caused by what's called compressive neuropathy. Okay. There can be a compression of the medial nerve, either at the thoracic outlet. Right. Here, unlikely can be in the forearm, can even be here, can even be in the neck. Okay. So when you say compression, do you mean as in the it might be pinching it, it pinching. could be stretching it, it okay. could be kinking it. Right, okay. It's not you know, everything's working functionally and you've got good strength, so it's not being badly damaged, but it might be just irritating. Well, that's good. And now you've had it properly tested. No, I did no I I have thought for a while like have I damaged something? Because obviously well, let's, I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll have a look at it and we, we might be, t you know, if it's an on, in, ongoing problem that keeps on going as a thing and we need yeah. to look at it, it might be that you oh, do I need like, to get like more advanced nerve <laughs> I'm testing. Sure I'm so, but we'll decide on that today. In regard to does the medial nerve or is there a signal problem to the muscle that might be contributing to the problem that you have? Okay. I feel like I'm having like a pregnancy scan or something. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, yeah. Similar. Uh, it's, it's very actually, similar. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's an ultrasound. Awesome. It looks, I mean, it looks the same. That's a good thing. Lift it up. So like the okay. consistency of the kind of architecture of the tissues yeah, is similar. Yeah, well, that looks the same. Yeah, sort of similar picture than the one before, isn't it? 
Right, yeah. It's not, it's not, a, <clears> it doesn't look like or something I'd really worry about in terms of the architecture. I'm not an ultrasonographer, but you've got ethnoesthicity and it looks like, you know, okay. right. really similar to the other side. Oh, I see. Right. If it looked really grey and malt, malted, then we'd be more away, but it's got the ethnoesthetic. Thing. It looks quite similar in bulk, actually, to be fair. So it's more the mass of the muscle that's different, but the, the constitution of the muscle... Even sort the of mass more... doesn't look gross in from the scan. Right. If you look at that, yeah. you know, it looks quite... What I'd be worried about, and we saw it on this one before when I took it from a different point, I'd be worried if like this was half of that. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's when I'd be really worried. But you can see, you know, depending on where I take it, I'm in an identical, the same spot. But they're almost, you know, they're about the same, really. There's nothing to... You know, it just depends on where it captures it. It's good news. Yeah. So that means and it's not going to be bicep-related, then, in terms of... No, what? no. It might be that how much you can strengthen it has been compromised because the signal... Right. What, yeah, and you, when you try and really push it, yeah. that it doesn't want to be pushed anymore because it's right. irritating the nerve. Yeah. So that what's happening is you can only take it so far because after that the nerve gets irritated and the nerve oh. then stops the signals going to the muscle. Yeah. So what is it that the nerve's basically irritated by the very act of having to signal strong action potentials to the muscle? The honest truth is I can't actually answer that question right. without we're doing some neurophysiological tests, but without some major physiological tests. Oh, I see so what you mean. You say it's an inhibitory get... effect. Right. Without a doubt that, some, that maybe, and that's where your history will help as well. Yeah. When you're building it up, do you then get these nervy irritations that yeah. then stop the, the, the messages going to the muscle so it yeah. can't get super, super big? Yeah. Like even now, I'm lying down, just from doing that, I can, I can feel I can feel it on the arm where like this sort of thing is where and it's like linked to my like thumb if that makes sense. Ah uh, right, okay. Right, yeah, so there is some just from it being stretched in this yeah, position. Just, just being like this, I can I can feel <clears> it. On so this there side. is some neural tension somewhere. Yeah. That's what, what all the tests really can say. Right. There is something going on somewhere, which obviously when the medial nerve is being fully tensioned, it doesn't quite like. Yeah. So something. Yeah. So, so there is a component of neural, but not. I wouldn't say nerve, but sort yeah. of nervish issues that are yeah. obviously affecting the signaling. It's better somewhere. to have like nerve than actual tissue, right? Like yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Then the serious yeah. myopathy. Yeah. That's good. Sure. Yeah. Just have a Turn the lights off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. So that's what you know, the camera will pick it up there. Yeah, so the bulk's there. I can't read if there's difference in that. That's a looks pretty. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the bulk. I'm looking at that like, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, yeah. the same here, to be fair. It's like me making that music. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. you contracting your biceps. It, <laughs> My biceps make music. Yeah, everyone's yeah, going to know if you're tensing now, so <laughs> yeah, you can't trick Yeah, it. so let's yeah. do a couple of tests where we just look at it. So just relax completely. I'm using the same... Well, okay, so that's it, yeah. You can see everything's quite relaxed now, isn't it? It's just picking up your heart a bit. Okay, so... Right, now we're in a point where we can compare properly. We've got both of them flat lined on the same level. Okay. We'll do maximum contraction, just see if there's a difference. Okay. So let's do this arm first, hold it there against my maximum. So you see it's peaking up to over 50, it's gone right over the screen, and then it's down. And we'll just compare this one, the same, up again. So I'm not sure what that really means. And then down. They do function differently. This one's a bit more erratic, almost hyperactivity. So there's something like there is something different in both arms. Yeah. In terms of the it's even doing there. that, like I could feel it. I could feel like my bicep here. Yeah. yeah I felt that was more engaged. Yeah. Whereas doing it here, 
I'm, I'm, so I'm a no, doing you're having right? to do more to get the same yeah. contraction. Yeah. That's what that's showing. So yeah. wait, does you're it? You're having to work because that's not force. Right. That's activity. You're mm. recruit. You're doing more. Yeah. Whatever yeah. recruitment it is mm. on this arm to try and get the same, same force. Same. Ah, so because we were saying in the car, weren't we? We were basically mm. saying that it seems like, is it that the signal is extremely strong and the output, mechanical output is relatively low? You know, and then that was what we were wondering about. So is that basically what you're saying? There's a huge signal going through the nerves, but then the mechanical output of the muscle itself is, is not particularly good. Uh, it, well, I can't say about the mechanical output because I haven't tested his yeah. full strength. And he did have power at least against full resistance. So right. from a medical point of view, you'd be MRC55. You can hold full power against me. Right, yeah. So, it doesn't, so from that point, very high forces might be different and you will yeah. feel that. Yeah. But from a kind of medical point of view, that's fine. Because yeah. if there was no resistance... That's me, right. That's it, you know, if you me. couldn't hold... You know, the, the normal testing is, can you hold that? Now, the subtleties of what the muscle doing is a different thing, really. But, uh, and that's what you're feeling. And this is suggesting that there is a difference mm. that this muscle has, it is having to work almost harder mm. to generate the same force resistance or differently. Yeah. It's right. almost like it's firing the muscles much quicker. I see. In order to generate force. And that's called, that can be caused by a nerve. It might be related to some alter some difference in the nerve signal or behaviour yeah. uh, in there, of which there is some tightness of your nerve that does supply that muscle. Right. Okay. okay. But not uh, not it, it's not being fundamentally um, uh, stopped, but it right. it that there does seem to be a difference. Yeah. yeah. What do you it recommend? It depends, really. If it was yeah. a problem that was continuing, it was something that you were worried about. I suppose the next step would be to go and see. Uh, kind of get a neurophysiological test, a bit more examine one, just to see if there is any compression along any of the areas that we talked about. It was something that was bothering you. Yeah. Because you've got good actual muscle power, mm. you've got good neurology, and the stretch is only really at the end. It's I wouldn't be rushing to do you because because no, 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 you're no. doing you know you're talking about at high level power. But if it, this was a persistent and then you'd come to be a massive wasting of the muscle right. and you're really underpowered, yeah. then I'd say get it tested. Yeah. It's not something, do you think it's something that will get worse with time, do you think? Or no, how long have you had it and how has how it I've behaved? Only, it's been a few years, but in terms of the actual discomfort, it's probably been in the last year and it's sort of been like getting worse with time. But then after my first session, it's, it's, I was telling Felix earlier, it wasn't pain anymore. It was more just like, I could feel it. I mean, if you came to see me, and all, honestly, first, before yeah. you went, I would try and loosen your nerve okay. before you did any high power stuff. I would be a bit careful about doing stuff above your head so you okay. don't put any compression in the neck, neck. or the thoracic outlet. Yeah. But I haven't done a diagnosis of that. Of course. Apart so. from my thing. Yeah. But I would want your nerve to to feel free and for you not to necessarily have this yeah. irritating. Yeah, like when it That's it right. So it's now I could release, uh, say, the thoracic outlet to see if it felt any different. Yeah. And then that would just very crudely give us an idea whether there is some tension related. First, your thoracic outlet. Yeah. We can't bore your neck. I can't tell which one it is at the moment, okay. but I could treat one of them. And then we could see if it improves your yeah. nerve. We could almost then see if it changes your signal. Yeah. So we could do that briefly. What I'll do is I want to release the scalenae and the collarbone. I'll do that for a couple of minutes. Yeah, sure. I feel like I'm a pro now. Okay, we'll uh, test your oh, signal yeah. afterwards. <laughs> this is the moment of truth in some ways when we get a little bit more info. Mm. In a right. way, yeah, it's quite difficult. Still quite crude, isn't it? It's sort of like bit, yeah. you know, it's a bit of yeah. trial and error. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As I say, you know, if you really want to kind of get the, you know, you need to mm. go take it further. But let's actually release the middle scalene and the collarbone area around that medial nerve for a second and then see if the signal does change in terms of your output. Okay. Or how it feels, actually. Yeah. But this isn't necessary. What I'm about to do now is quite specialised and it isn't something I would kind of tell other people to do if they haven't had, you know, like me, 30 years' experience of working in a 
nerve muscle specialist unit. Yeah, I'm not even sure mm, how much I'd want this to be out on the video. <laughs> okay, it might be that we come back to this. Yeah, or we can always. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you know, I don't it. want people doing this. No, if they don't know what they're doing, they haven't done a whole feel neurology beforehand, right, or something like that. And if they don't work in a complex nerve unit, so you've learned this from doing, yeah, as well stuff. from working, yeah, sort of twenty-five years in a peripheral nerve injury, unit. yeah. What you feel in here? Uh, it's not too. It's not painful or anything. It just feels like you've got your finger in my neck. If I'm being honest, yeah. I'm <laughs> to kind of just massage the scalene and yeah. nerve here. Yeah, it's like I, I feel it, but I don't feel it. If that makes yeah. sense, it's a very faint feeling. Yeah, just relax. I'm just going to retest the nerve tension side. How does that feel now? I don't feel it in my fingers as much now. Okay. And the general feeling of the arm? I could feel that, that bit on my bicep at first, but I'm not feeling it right now. I don't know if it's because it's just been stretched, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not feeling it right okay, now. Okay, now I'm generate the tension in the muscle. And relax. And then generate it against resistance. And relax. So I only, yeah, I felt it a little bit in my body. So the first time I tensed it, I didn't feel it at all. Okay. But then the second time with pressure, I felt a little tiny bit, just, yeah, there, yeah, where that thing is. Um, so what does your arm feel like at the moment? So, yeah, right now it feels okay. I don't have no tingling. Does it feel better than? It feels better resting than it did before you did that. that yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Let me just do it once more. Because sure. I don't know the tent. You could be there. Could be a tension coming from the neck. Yeah. Could be coming from here. Or it could even be something in here. Right. Okay. I don't know what that would be to be fair, but yeah. so it could be. So I'm just going to do it once more sure. there. But that doesn't necessarily end the story. Yeah. But it does tell me whether there's a, a problem related to it. Yeah, it feels a bit more tense. Oh. So even most um, well-trained physios wouldn't know this because unless you've worked in the nerve injury unit for 20 odd years, you wouldn't be doing it. No. That? Yes, right. Interesting. Okay, again, what does it feel like first at rest in the arm? Uh, feels, yeah, it feels fine. I don't feel anything in my, okay, in my now arm rest. Tense the biceps. Yeah, I mean. That looks much more equal, doesn't it? Look at yeah. that now. That signal the first one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are they completely I'm not, lined up? I'm yeah. not feeling that pain in my uh, in my skull. Yeah, I felt at the end of you doing that. Yeah, felt, I was being quite aggressive. No, no, it felt it felt good. Did it right? Like, I actually felt something. I felt um, something release of something, it. Something tight was there. Right, actually, yeah. So I felt like yeah. it was. I always associate if I feel it, if it feels uncomfortable, then I know there's. something. So you do have something there, do yeah. you? Yeah. When Gen I was doing that, I could feel. I could feel yeah, in life like, though, sometimes you have that, do you? What's that? Tension here tension? or? Uh, I mean. I guess maybe sometimes. Well, now sometimes now you've noticed it. Yeah, now I've noticed it. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. I think you know, improve the mobility of the nerve. It changed the signal. Okay. Yeah, which is what we sort of came here to to do. Yeah. yeah. So then so, what? And up, well, so we'd be work working on a premise that we should try and release that nerve mm. to see whether that was affecting the biceps and its thing. Then it'd be a question of do we need to do more advanced tests because it's 
Is mm. it something that's holding you back that you're worried about? Yeah. Or are you quite happy with how it is and if it's not getting worse, then that's fine because there's no frank neurology at the moment. So, right. okay. you know, but it would, so you should be mindful of and if any of these symptoms got worse right, okay. or you feel them while you're training hard, mm. you should probably stop and just stop. let it settle down. Okay. So don't, yeah, so don't, yeah, don't overdo things. things if you're getting kind of yeah. nervy, thummy. Right, okay. Uh, bite, if the biceps is feeling a bit nummy, twitchy, right. then so it, it, it needs rest and then, yeah. then maybe you can do more afterwards. Yeah. It might be that you just have to do some gentle neck movements as well, but I think it actually needs releasing first. Okay. So Tony, as a, as a brief to kind of close on that, then you, you essentially manipulated uh, the Not nerve. Not manipulated, no. No? I gently stretched, well, <laughs> relatively gently. Right, okay. So I'll try that again. So, <laughs> so I tried to release yeah. the nerve yeah. around the kind of facet outlet scalenae area okay. to see whether that improved not only the mobility and the tension of the nerve, but somehow altered its signal. Right. And as we saw, it seemed to do that mm. and change the way the muscle behaved. Right. Okay. So the history of altered behavior in that biceps, which is somehow stopping him from fully developing, does seem to be related to some kind of what we'd call minor nerve irritation, possibly of the medial nerve from either the neck, collarbone, might be local, but our guess would be there. If it continues, it might be need for further investigations to look into that, just so that we're not creating a problem later on in life. Already, though, I feel like I'm just looking in the mirror. I feel like my arm already looks like bigger. It's strange. I don't know if it's you just feel me. like it's what? I feel like more it's, active. It's like, yeah, like oh, doing that feels a bit sore. Yeah. But when I get down here, but up here, it feels like it's more engaged. Well, we saw it normalised at the signal bit, didn't yeah. it? That's what yeah, you're yeah. describing, really. A more kind of normalish signal. It's been a while since I've had to, because I've always, because I've been cautious of it, I've always been like looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, you can, you can see where it's not being engaged, but already you can see. That you can engage it a bit. Like, yeah. Yeah. It there, well, hopefully it does have released and got the nerve gliding a bit better. Yeah. It's the signal to the muscle is improved. So in terms that, of that normally, to be fair, might be transient. It might yeah. just be today. It, yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. it lasts forever, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, in terms of like me going forward. You, that you have to have just, treatment. Just, I, I need treatment. But yeah. like for now, would, should I do like just more mobility with my neck, you say? See or, how it feels after how it today feels. for a couple of weeks uh, and to see how it behaves. See if it returns as you go back to doing. If yeah. it does, then you'll need a course of treatment. Okay. Yeah, and of course, cool. treatment doesn't work, then we'd have to do some further investigations. Right. If it feels okay and you can generate the muscle, if it's better, then continue training. Yeah. Never go massively high. There's, there's yeah, something there. Yeah, yeah, I don't So you never go, but it does depend on how it responds to treatment. If it responds well, you can keep doing what you're doing. Right. If it keeps coming back and forth, you've got to modify what right. you do. Yeah. Pretty impressive though, because that video, it looks like you had the signals clearly divided and then, then they lined up, which was quite impressive. Quite impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got me going bloody hell, Tony. Even if I say so myself. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it shows, shows the work being done. It shows yeah, it's very impressive. Like it's, like, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite quite incredible. Yeah. So you, you, you think the lines are gonna line up a bit and then they go whoop. That's right. Like, well, well, okay. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, that was quite impressive.